Hi folks, David Fine here from Watch Your Lip. We just went out and caught a blackfin tuna. It wasn't a very big one. Split that meat between two families. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up with a little bit of a recipe today. On We have just a little bit of blackfin tuna meat and we have five people in our household. So we're trying to figure out a recipe that can actually feed a family on just a little bit of meat. And I came across a recipe that we're gonna try for a tuna tartare. So I am super excited about it because it has some ingredients here, which I'm gonna go over with you here in a minute. And we are gonna make a quick, easy recipe uh, with tuna meat, fresh tuna, do a tuna tartare and show you how it goes. Guys, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Let's get to the recipe. Here's the deal. Very simple recipe We I found online. Two little slabs of tuna, not a whole lot of meat. I mean, if we were to actually take, actually I'm trying to make steaks out of this, it may feed three people, not if they were very hungry. So what we're going to do, we're gonna do some tuna tartare. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna chop this up into cubes and we're gonna make a tartar out of it. And basically we're gonna make an avocado bed and we're gonna show you how we do this. We're just gonna follow the recipe that we found online. The ingredients are simple, fresh tuna, which we have. We got some avocados, we got Haas avocados. We got a couple limes, sesame seed oil, soy sauce, a little bit of salt, olive oil, some sesame seeds. We got some fresh ginger and some green onions. All right, so now, we're gonna get started by chopping up our tuna and getting it into uh, a marinade to get it ready for our tartare. I am going to designate a, a portion of this for sashimi for my daughter because she would kill me if I had tuna with no sashimi. So I'm just gonna take that over here, slice this nice and thin. We'll get some sashimi going and we'll get that chilling real quick. Let's see. All right, guys, there is some sashimi slices and I'm just gonna put this in the refrigerator for Sophia. Wow, it's a full refrigerator, I'll put it up here. Tonight, be nice and cool so it'll be chill when she gets it. Oh, I'll get some wasabi out too, we'll need that. Add that to our ingredients list, some wasabi as well, y'all. All right, the rest of our tuna is gonna be chunked for our tartare. So here we go, I'm gonna chunk it up right now. All right guys, so what it's asking for, it's asking for us to take the tuna and just cut it into chunks. So it's gonna be nice little bite-sized chunks like this, like cubes. This is good stuff here, guys. This is perfectly fresh tuna and we are gonna cut it into cubes. And just, just like that. All right, now we have our tuna all chopped up into little cubes, which is really nice. And this is gonna be going on top of the sliced avocado, but before we do anything to this, we have to marinate it. And by the way, we did save some bloodline. We chopped it up in little pieces. We're gonna feed those to our fish later. Ray, hope you like tuna bloodline. We'll see how that goes. All right, but what we gotta do is we're gonna get some of this ginger and we are gonna grade some of this ginger. And I'm gonna, I'm just gonna slice some of the skin off of this ginger and we're gonna grate it. Okay, so a little gingery. All right, guys, we have a little bit of ginger here. I'm gonna add in, I'm gonna add in the tuna cubes. Hopefully my bowl is big enough. It might not be. Great for video presentation anyway. I'm gonna put in some soy sauce now. Let's get some soy. Uh, 
we are gonna get some sesame seed oil. I'm assuming it doesn't need a whole lot of that. It looks good already. It does look good. Okay. It has the ginger already. I'm gonna put, I know the kids aren't crazy about this, but I'm gonna put a little bit of wasabi. That's a, that's a little bit? That's a little bit. I'm not gonna put a whole lot in, and I'm gonna put some salt. And then, here's the fun part, with washed hands, I'm gonna mix it all up. Mm, that looks good. It does look good. You have a bunch of wasabi. Too. I know, I got a big clump of wasabi. It says to let it sit for about 20 minutes. So we're gonna let this sit in here and marinate for 20 minutes. And in the meantime, we're gonna cut up our avocados, our limes, and our onions, and get those ready to put the tuna on top of. So here we go. All right, guys, next is, we're gonna put some of these onions in our tuna. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take some of these guys. I don't know if I need that quite that much, but these little green onions, we are going to cut these up super fine. What's the matter, Lindsay? You don't like the smell of the green onions? It makes me want to throw up. It makes you want to throw up? Ooh, look at that. Yeah, I'm gonna do a little bit of chef, chef stuff here. I'm not a cook, guys. Usually it's my wife. And when I showed her this recipe, she got very excited and said, make sure you save me some. She's at work. So I'm just happy, hoping to have enough food to feed the whole family. So we're just gonna chop this up nice and fine. Okay, these nice little onions, green onions going in, and we are gonna mix this in. Oh, you just like, no fear, just dove in it. Dove right in, man. That looks like orange chicken. We're gonna let this settle for another, oh, 20 minutes or so. And what I'm gonna do, next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna rinse the onion off of our bowl, and we're gonna cut up some avocado. Ooh, can I have, I love cutting avocado. All right, Sophie's gonna go. Okay. Okay, first thing, now don't mess up my avocado. Hey, I got you. Yeah, do you? Okay. Not really, okay. It's a big pit. You gotta go all the way around it. Oh, you got this. You gotta cut, don't cut yourself. I got you. Do you though? Yeah. This is the blind leading the blind here, guys. Hey! Hey! Oh, yours looks actually looks better than mine does. Yeah. I saw this on a video. Yeah, I'm sure. Don't cut yourself. Sobe. It's not working. Scoop out your avocado. Don't need that. Look at this. I'm gonna get all of it. You're gonna get all of it? Yeah. Good. No. No, you're gonna no. cut it up. I knew that. Dice. Cutting avocado is fun. Then you gotta do this, you gotta. <laughs> <laughs> Are you laughing at my cooking? I'm, you're not cooking, you're cutting. You gonna cut our last avocado? I got you. Got us? Make it happen. Okay, this is my second attempt. Careful with that knife. Step, folks, is to get a lime, and we need to cut lime juice, or cut a lime, and put lime juice inside of the avocados. Let's see how big, strong Sophie's forearms are. You gonna get that lime juice up in there? Oh my gosh. <sighs> She's two-handing this thing. Is that enough or more? Uh, I think a little bit more. Oops. Oh, jeez. Did you actually get any inside the avocado? I don't know. <laughs> That's a good question. I hope, hopefully she got some lime juice in the avocado. What'd you just do? You gonna squirt lime juice in your mouth? <laughs> I'm gonna squirt it in my eye. Don't do it in your eye. You're gonna be sorry.
Yeah, there's a reason people doesn't do that. All right, put, put some more in there. All right, guys, we're putting lime juice in the avocado. Finally, maybe a little bit more, a little bit more. Here, let me get this knife out of your way so you don't stab yourself. All right. Finally, finally, finally. finally. Yeah, okay, jeez. All right, one tablespoon of olive oil. You can, okay, she's being, she's being all precise. If mommy taught me anything, it's time. She's precise. That's one tablespoon? Yeah. Okay. One tablespoon of olive oil. And now, Sophie, you're going to mix it with your hands. Yay! Oh, yeah. Come on, get, get in there. Don't, ah! don't squish it. Don't squish it. Oh. No, you got to mix it. Just mix it. It's supposed to be diced avocado, not smashed avocado. Oops. It's all right. You, you'll be all right. Just, yeah, just mix it around. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> this is a little fun, this recipe, isn't it? I like it. <laughs> All right, Sophie's laughing at something ridiculous, but we are going to make some toast, toasted baguettes for our tuna. And so we are going to... Guys, comment down below if you know what the whipping nene is. Whipping nene? What's a whipping nene? Guys, comment down below if you know what a whipping nene is. My daughter is like over here trying me, talking about whipping nene. And I don't know... I don't know. Yeah, I want to whip your name. I, I don't understand this nonsense. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Good job. All right. Let's go. All right, guys. We're going to toast these real quick. Guys, we're so good at this. Oh, yeah. We are so bad. All right. Now, here's what we're going to do. Okay. We are going to set up our first tuna bowl. All right. Okay. Now, here's what we're going to do. So, if you're going to film. Sure. And I am going to, I think. What are you doing? Well, this needs to be, this needs to be smaller. This one will probably be, what you have to do is you have to have a mold. It's a makeshift mold. Okay. And what you have to do is you have to get it into the right thing. All right? Okay. Now. Guys, look at the perfect circle. That's the perfect, well, I don't know if that's the perfect circle. But here's what I can tell you. I can tell you that we are going to get some tuna. Ooh, what is that? This is tuna. No, it's not. That's tuna. That's the tuna? That's the tuna. You made it? What? <laughs> Wait, what are you... Shelby, what is this supposed Shelby. to look like? I'm I, so it, confused. Well, it's not going to look like the picture. I can tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to look we like the picture. We should have the picture and what it, what it, oh, what we, dad we will, is. we will, we will, we will. Don't worry. Oh my gosh. Okay. I don't know what this is supposed to look like, you guys. We are going to find out shortly. Give me a little confidence, a little faith here. <laughs> a little faith. Now, is this mold, does this fit the mold here or what? Hey! Hey, it fits the mold. Sort of. Kind of. Or well, we could put a, probably a little more tuna in there. This looks like a mud pile. Oh no, mud cake. Kind of. Well, you probably have mold in the mud cake too. Okay, there, that, that made a suction cup sound, guys. <laughs> that, I think, is what it's supposed to sound like. And for presentation's sake, I'm gonna get rid of all this, put it back in that bowl. Look how professional he looks like. <laughs> for presentation? Oh, we're doing presentation now? Oh, yeah. This is, is this a burger? It is not a burger, it is a tartare. Yeah, but you said that like I knew what a tartar is. That's, that's a tartar right there. That's a tartar. Okay. Now, this is going to go on top of a bun. So it's a burger. What? Well, it's not a burger. Guys, is a hot dog a sandwich? Huh? Is a hot dog a sandwich? Hot dog? I think it's a sandwich because it has the bread and then the meat inside. That's a sandwich. Oh, really? You're going to do that to me? These are baguettes, okay? We gotta sound fancy. It's not a sandwich, it's a baguette. Guys, it's a sandwich. Baguette! All right, my children are mocking me, saying that it looks like a turd. It's a bun. A turd between a two buns. Guys, comment down below if you think this looks appetizing it to you. Like a turd on it's, it is tuna tartare. <laughs> uh, and I'm gonna put the photo of the one that I saw on online. 
Watch your lip, kid. Watch your lip, kid. All right, I'm gonna put the photo of the one I found online next to this photo. And guys, let me know if you think that this one, if this one looks like the one in no. the photo from the internet. Rate it from a one to 10. Yeah, if one to 10. Do, you, do you think, rate from one to 10, one being David looks nothing like it, 10 <laughs> being, gosh, that looks exactly like it. Or, or zero meaning it looks like a turd. Yeah, or zero meaning it looks like a turd. Watch your lip, kid. You know, everybody's gonna say it looks like a zero. I know, everybody's gonna say, that looks like a turd. I'm gonna enjoy my tuna tartar. I, I don't know about you. I'm gonna like gaffed it and put out the bait. Hey, Reese yeah, caught yeah. it. Yeah. All right, guys. The tuna tartare is plated up. I've got some baguettes there. Uh, it's gonna be eaten like a spread. So what you do is you take a little bit. Come on over here. I'm gonna put these out of the way for a second. Okay, you're gonna t take one of your baguettes. What's a baguette? Your, your bread. It's, oh. it's a, it's a fan fancy French word for bread. All right, and then you're gonna you're gonna take a scoop of the of the yeah all the way down. Put it right there on the bread, dude. Okay, take a big bite. Come on, take a big bite. It's good. It's good. But well, you don't have to lie to me now. What do you think of it? It's good. It's good. Are you gonna Are you gonna have fun eating this, or is it gonna be kind of like eh, you don't really want to? No, it's good. Yeah, I'll eat it, but like you know. It tastes, yeah, give, give me the honest, big truth, dude. It, it would. It tastes really good with lime. With lime? Mm -hmm. We put lime on it. Does it need more lime? Yeah. Really? More lime. More lime. Uh, okay. Well, well, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. G give me the Give me the taste. Like, what are, What are you tasting here? What, what's the Analysis. Um, the analysis is it's really good. Um, I, you can't taste the fish, honestly. Right. You, well, there's a lot of soy sauce on there. Yeah, you can't taste. You can't taste the fish. <laughs> you can't taste the fish. I think I put. I think I put a little too much soy sauce on. To be honest with you. And the avocado goes really good with it. Avocado goes really nice, right? Yeah. Okay. So is that something like you, you would eat that? Eat that bread up and mm -hmm. have fun with that? Yeah, it's good. Okay. Okay. Scale of one to ten for fish meals. I rate it a seven. Seven. Fair enough. Six and a half, seven. Okay. Fair enough. All right. I, there, would I rather have a normal? Would you rather have sashimi? Uh, I don't know. You're not a big sushi person. No. I, I don't know why, but like my my like the top of my like I'm getting it right now. Like the top of my mouth is like tingly. It's like tingly and like it itches. Well, you Lorenzo's actually had allergic reactions to fish, so maybe sushi. Isn't this is the best. raw fish. It's like just raw. It's, it's raw, right? Like I'm having it right now. <laughs> All right. Well, let's not have that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Sophia. I'm gonna be brutally honest with you. Yeah. I'm really scared. You're scared? Why are you scared? I don't know. I am. All right. Well, come on. Don't be scared. I'm just not gonna kill you. You might not like it, but it's not gonna kill you. I don't think I like it very much. All right, then we'll just take take a scoop of, okay, that's good. Load it on the bread. Load it on the end of the piece of bread, so. You, oh, oh yeah. Yeah, like it's. <laughs> I need more avocado. Yeah, oh my gosh. She's absolutely. What did you do to she's it? She's mutilating her baguette, or she's mutilating her tartare. Oh my gosh, Sophie. Cut. What are you doing? All right, can you please take a bite? <laughs> All right, here we go, guys. Sophie's gonna take a bite. Okay. Come on. <laughs> All the way in, there you go. <laughs> okay, be honest. Chewing. It's it is chewing. Good. It's good. You, you don't. You're not gonna hurt my feelings. It's not my recipe. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not the best. Okay, tell me about it. What, what's what's the deal with it? I mean, it's good. The avocado is great. It's really refreshing with it. Okay. Um, but 
This soy sauce just ain't it. The soy is too much soy sauce? Yeah. Too much soy? I need more avocado. Like it's like like you need more avocado than fish. Or I mean than like whatever that brown stuff is. That's that's tuna, Sophie. Then fish? Yeah. Okay. But the avocado. Well Sophie needs to learn how to use a fork first of all. <laughs> she needs to learn how to eat. Oh my. Would you would you rather be on like a cracker or something? Yeah. Would it be better on a cracker? No, because I like thick bread. Okay, stop oh the my cameras. gosh, stop yeah, the that's cameras. ridiculous. Okay, what do you rate it? A five? <laughs> five, all right. I'm well, so sorry. That's okay. No, guy. Whoever you <laughs> All right. Whoever you are. I just want <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> Unbelievable. All right, guys, I'm going to try the tuna tartar myself and see. I, I, you know, my children may not have a sophisticated palate, so I'm gonna try it out right now and find out what it's like, guys. I'm not gonna die. I got news for you. My children just don't have a very sophisticated palate. This is actually a good dip, guys. This is oh meant to be a dip. God. Okay, now, Lorenzo doesn't believe me, but this is meant to be like a dip for like an appetizer or something like that, where you would have crackers. You know, I made these baguettes, but you can use crackers. You huh? <laughs> you I, you I toasted them, you mean? You toasted the bread. You toasted the bread. It's a baguette. <laughs> guys, it's, it's a dip. I like it. Um, guys, I'm giving it a seven. I'm, I'm not gonna go and give it a nine or something like that, but. It takes I think an it's hour a, to make. Well, no, it's, I didn't know what I was doing, so it probably took me a little 40, longer. It tastes like 45 minutes. The cook time on the website says 40 minutes, or prepare time. Um, it took me a little longer than that, just because I had to get my bearings because I'm not a kitchen guy. But, um, I like it. I'm gonna see if my, mom, my wife likes it, because she's gonna come home, and I've got a plate for her too. But, I'll take I'll take over. You know, hey. from yeah, I know. You don't like to film. Guys, Lorenzo does not like filming at all. I mean he doesn't he doesn't really I'm I'm starting to learn this about my son. He's not into video videoing at all. But one thing I'm gonna surprise my daughter with is I've got a plate full of tuna sashimi Yay! for her. I'll bring her some soy sauce. Sovi. Do your homework well and enjoy your tuna sashimi. Thank you. You're welcome. Guys, if you like this video, uh, it, it's definitely not like the most amazing dish in the world. Uh, I had fun with it. Sophie, <laughs> Sophie absolutely, it seems like she abhorred <laughs> the uh, this recipe. Lorenzo, I think was just trying to be nice. No, it was good. It was good? Yeah. Okay, guys. Um, I'm gonna give Sophie my soy sauce. Comment down below, what do you think of the recipe? I liked it, it's a good dip to put. <clears throat> <laughs> the kids are so wrong, they're so wrong. It's a good dip, uh, it's a good appetizer to put out, and if you have some crackers or something like that, I would probably rather do sashimi, or put, it, put the tuna in sushi, that's just me. But guys, like, subscribe, and share. <clears throat> I don't know what's wrong with me. Watch your lip. Gee whiz. <laughs> okay. Sophia, tell me about sashimi. Tuna sashimi. Thank you, Reese. That's now scale of one to ten. Scale of one to ten. One million. Sophie loves just the rawness. She loves the rawness of the sashimi. She's going to town. Now, seriously, that's a 10? That's a 10. That's a 10 for sushi. if you have never tried sashimi and you only eat sushi, I promise you! Okay, sashimi all day. I don't know about that. Yeah, I know, Lorenzo's not a big sashimi guy. solid eight. Lorenzo, solid eight. Lorenzo will take some uh, fruit and... That's eat. my dinner? Yeah, have, have fun with that. Or you can have some of my tuna tartar. 
<laughs> I'm fasting. Are you fasting all of a sudden? All right, Sophie's having fun. All right, guys, watch your lip.